Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here in fabulous Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. Pretty much center strip. I'm at the Link Promenade right now, but I'm going to head into the Flamingo Hotel and Casino. That's where I'm staying this trip. It's a really nice value hotel. Always comfortable there and the rates are pretty decent. So let's go inside and check out what's going on here at the Flamingo, shall we? The Flamingo Hotel is home to Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville restaurant and gift shop. I've eaten at the Margaritaville in uh, not only here in Las Vegas, but Atlantic City and Orlando. Those videos are available here on the New York channel. The food is okay. It's really more of a tourist thing than anything else, but uh, if you've never been, you have to check it out. I mentioned I stayed at the Flamingo my last visit here in Las Vegas, uh, only because I try not to stay in the same place more than once until I run out of places, and I certainly have not run out of places here in Las Vegas, but... My last trip uh, was very expensive no matter where you stayed, so I decided to come back to the Flamingo because my first visit, well, it was uh, inexpensive compared to other hotels and casinos, and it's quite clean and comfortable, So, and it's a great location. So that's why I decided to uh, come back here for this particular visit. I'm looking to uh, make plans for this coming summer to check out Vegas again, and I could tell you already the prices are coming down, so that's a good thing, and I will uh, definitely stay at a different hotel and casino uh, one that I haven't visited yet and I've visited quite a few but like I said there's quite a few I haven't so upcoming trip will be a brand new hotel and casino the Flamingo food court isn't large it's only got four places however they pretty much have all the bases covered first of all it's super convenient right off the casino floor as well as by the uh, elevator lobby so if you're staying here and you want to bring something up to your room super convenient like i said now only four places but like i said they also have their bases covered a little bit of everything Bananos New York Pizzeria, Johnny Rockets, Pan Asian Express, and LA Subs and Salad. No matter what mood you're in, even though there's only four places, they seem to have you covered here. And I guess you wouldn't be staying at a Las Vegas Strip Hotel and Casino if you didn't have a speakeasy in that hotel. And well, Bugsy and Myers is the Flamingo's speakeasy. The steakhouse transports guests to another era of Las Vegas as they enter through a bakery front, if you will, into the steakhouse proper. This eye-catching restaurant boasts a sophisticated and varied menu of steakhouse classics. The habitat here at the Flamingo is a beautiful oasis, one of my favorite hangouts off the Las Vegas Strip. When I say off the Las Vegas Strip, I'm talking about a couple of yards, but it's a great escape. Uh, lots of winding paths, you see a lot of wildlife as well as a lot of nice landscaping. Uh, it's completely covered in a different video here on the New York Channel, so check that out as well. You'd really be challenged to find a better location than the Flamingo Hotel and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip. My room had a great view of Caesars Palace and the Caesars Palace fountains right out the window. And uh, right out the doors here was the Link Promenade, a major social hub on the Las Vegas Strip. Lots of restaurants, shops, clubs, and attractions. This is Carlos and Charlie's, a Mexican cantina here at the Flamingo. It's both indoors and outdoors. They have an outdoor patio. And I uh, had some great fish tacos here not too long ago.
There's also a wedding chapel out here as well. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. A little bit about the Flamingo, the property includes a uh, casino that's over 72,000 square feet along with 3,460 hotel rooms. The architectural theme obviously is reminiscent of the Art Deco and Streamline modern style of Miami and South Beach. Staying true to its theme and name, the hotel includes a garden courtyard which serves as a wildlife habitat for flamingos, one of my favorite sanctuaries off the Las Vegas Strip. The Flamingo was the third resort to open on the Strip and remains the oldest resort on the Strip in operation today and it has been since 2007 with the closure and demolition of the New Frontier. It's also the last remaining casino on the Strip that opened before 1950 and is still in operation. The Flamingo is home to Mr. Las Vegas himself, Wayne Newton. Wayne's show is still going strong here in Las Vegas and I wouldn't be surprised if he actually opened this place. Besides Wayne Newton, other world-famous entertainers that played here at the Flamingo include Judy Garland, Bobby Darin, Fats Domino, Jerry Lee Lewis, Ray Charles, The Supremes, James Brown, Little Richard, Tom Jones, Ella Fitzgerald, B.B. King, Kenny Rogers, Foreigner, The Beach Boys, Jimmy Buffett, Sly and the Family Stone, Aaron Carter, Everclear, Richard Marks, Smash Mouth, Gin Blossoms. Some people who had residencies here include Gladys Knight and the Pips, Tony Braxton, Olivia Newton-John, and like I said, Wayne Newton, uh, actually, he's playing here now, but he actually had a show here back in 1968. And in these two windows, you see two other shows that are currently playing, X Burlesque and Piff the Magic Dragon. And here we have the front entrance of the Flamingo, or is it the back entrance? It's always a tough call here on the Las Vegas Strip, as well as on the Atlantic City Boardwalk. I never know what to call the front or the back of the building, but this is where you'll be dropped off and picked up if you're catching an Uber, I know that. Also back here is the uh, monorail station. Uh, it does stop off here at the Flamingo. Again, Flamingo being a dynamite location. And here we have the famous Flamingo Go Pool. That's right, I have a video here on the New York channel. Check it out.
As I said, I stayed at the Flamingo twice, so if you'd like to see the rooms uh, that I stayed in, uh, as far as room tours, you can check those videos out here on the New York channel, as well as the uh, Flamingo Habitat and the pools. Hey guys, if you're a fan of the New York channel, check out the new Facebook New York fan page. It's uh, created and maintained by Dan Craft, also known around here as Real Unc D. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you, Dan, so much for uh, your hard work. Hey everybody, check out the New York store. There's a link in the description below. Lots of cool New York swag, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies. We have uh, teddy bears, coffee mugs, water bottles, uh, stickers, tote bags. You name it, you'll find it at the New York store. Lots of cool swag. Check it out. There's a link in the description below. Thanks so much for visiting. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.